Hi, uh, I'm, uh, I'm Jeff. I play for a band called Cataclysm, and you're watching The Age of Metal. Cheers. We're here with the Age of Metal. Um, we're in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona today at Joe's Grotto. We're here with JF from Cataclysm. Uh, let's see. Welcome back to the U.S. Uh, this is the, la the last time you were here was for the, I think it was the Iron Wheel Tour back in 2012. Right, right. So it's been quite a while since you've been back here, a couple years at least. Uh, what has it been like touring the States again this time? Ah, I, I love it. I mean, touring the States, to me, I what one thing I really appreciate about it, it's the fact that you get whatever you want at any time of the day. So if you're hungry at 4 in the morning, you find a place that's open. If you want drinks, if you want something, like, it's very convenient. Uh, people are cool. I, I, I have so many friends here, and it's like every city is, like, really really um, they welcome us like with arms open and it's been very nice I, I i really enjoy touring the u.s i like also the all the systems with the the tour buses and stuff they're all very super comfy I and mean, we we got a full working ac all the time and stuff like that some other countries not as good sometimes with the, the conditions but i'd say like uh america as far as uh, as far as uh, metal goes it's very uh, it's very underground but the, the fans are very, uh, very dedicated and passionate about the music, and I think it's it's a great thing. All right. Uh, do you have a favorite city that you like to tour in, or as in the United States, or just pretty much everywhere? I'm a fan of the South. I mean, I uh, I've moved to to Dallas, Texas, four years ago, and I, I love the South. I'm like I love this hot weather, and and, and to me, it's like a that that's what I like. But it's it's. I don't know favorite cities like we, we're always all over the place I I think on tours like there's always a few spots I like to go for me I, I like the old stretch like say starting Seattle going down the west coast and then and then from the west going all the way to Florida that, that, that big L that's my favorite yeah. spot I, if, not because not because of the people but just just because it's 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 a nice area scenery. to be in scenery and like the, I like the old Southern cooking thing too. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, you've had quite a few large announcements surface on this tour. Uh, that one of the largest ones, your drummer uh, Maximo, will be permanently leaving the band, mm -hmm. and that Ollie will be taking his place. Um, how has that affected the dynamics of the band, or has it? It's. I mean, it, it's a big piece that's going away because Max is, is our brother. It's like it, it's kind of it's sad, and but at the same time, like I've I've, I've talked to him a few days ago, and he seems happy. He's like. He's getting his back, his life back together. He's getting the alcohol thing more under control as well. So he looks much better, which made me happy. He just he has some uh, some problems in one of his arms. Like yeah. I think it's some, some sort of tendonitis issue. And he he told us it's like I'm not able to perform as good as I as I did a few years ago. And he told us like he 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 prefers to step out and uh, and let us like. Do our thing with with Ali because uh, Ali is like super uh, in shape and he's he's a young kid and he, he's very hungry and he's just to preserve the sound it, of the band. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's basically he stepped out like a gentleman and saying he's like he's having these issues. But like I, I, to me, in my art, the, the in my art, the the doors will always be open for Max to come back. And he's a, he's a, he'll always be our brother, and I, I'm sure we'll play with him again. I have a good feeling about it. Um, Ollie has actually toured with you on and off for the last couple of years, and he recorded the last album with with you, correct? Has that made the transition a little bit easier as far as on Ollie, learning the material, or is it just kind of a big family thing? No, nah, Ollie, we met him like a, a few years back. He, he was a drummer for Neuraxis, and he actually played with us a show on the 70,000 Tons of Metal Cruise because Max couldn't do it, and uh, we, he had some family things that weekend, and we decided to go anyways and, and hire Olive to do it, and we had a great time with him. He's, he's already family, 
Uh, he's a good friend. He's uh, also uh, he helps me out a lot on the songwriting parts because he he's a big Cataclysm fan, so he wants to respect the sound of the band. But at the same time, he brings a lot of cool new elements to the table, which helps the the, the song structures and songwriting. So, and he's also uh, like me, we're the two geeks of the band. Like when it comes down to audio recording, so he helps me out with that. So that's a good thing. Um, Danny from Aborted actually filled in with you or for you for four of the de tour dates, yeah. uh, to, so you can go back home and take care of family business. Yeah. How did that affect the tour, and how was it like transitioning for those four shows? Luckily, uh, he did well. I mean, uh, it's it's for me it was hard to to leave because I in 20 years I never missed a show, and oh, yeah. I, I, I had to go back like. Uh, for, for those four days there, there was no no other option and I'm so glad that he wanted to do this like he he spent the whole night on the tour bus learning the tracks and then they pulled it off and I'm, I'm really happy yeah so, so he, I'm so thankful to him for that because the tour could carry on and no harm was done the fans were really understanding of the situation so that was also very awesome um, a couple months ago, uh, Maurizio decided to sort of dissolve XDO. Mm -hmm. uh, what were the decisions that played into that, and how, what has been the kind of response that you've gotten because of those decisions? I think a lot of people were sad and angry. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I kind of expected it, but not as much as we did got, uh, that we did get. And, and also, like, the one thing that led to it is we're touring a lot for this record, and and we're all already write, starting to write some new material for the next Cataclysm, and we're thinking, when are we gonna do X Dio and all of this? Yeah. Because the the schedule the schedule's getting booked and booked and booked for the like the next four five years almost. Wow. I, I'd like to say, and it's like we we all have families. I'm, I have a kid on the way, and, and, and that, thank you. And it's like yeah, I want to be able to be a father and 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 not be on the road Stress, like 12, yeah. 12 months a year. So. I think with Cataclysm is just the right amount so we can be out there promoting the records and, and still do what we do, but at the same time I, I get to stay home a little more and, and, and do like start the, the new life the right way. So I, I think it's just, it was just a... Mutual decision. Yeah, like, like, the other guys the same thing, like uh, Steph has two kids, Mauricio has kids too. We're all, we all have all other businesses aside from Cataclysm and next deal like I also run a little recording studio yeah, that was uh, my next question. And, and that's one thing that when you're gone all the time it's hard to take care of the business back home and, and uh, I, I think I think it's uh, we don't want to close the door completely completely maybe like five six years from now who knows maybe we'll, we'll get in the mood and be like oh, let's do another one but for now it's like it doesn't make sense yeah. so it's it's a cool project and I enjoyed it very much and it was fun to play something different other than, than Cataclysm and at the same time it was fun to keep us busy like when we had downtime so we, we stayed busy like continuously and and I had a lot of fun also playing with Dano the bass player he's a great guy so that was that's the thing I'm gonna miss the most about XDO is Dano. <laughs> um, you mentioned your studios. You run JF, uh, JFD Studios, correct? Yeah. What's it like working with other bands that's not Cataclysm or XDO? It's it's interesting because I, I, I as an artist, it's it's fun to be involved in different projects and different parts of the of the the, the whole uh, process because bands come to me sometimes. The whole thing is written, so I don't really give much input on on the songs themselves, but. I'll help carve the sound of the band like from every step and sometimes they record themselves and they want somebody else to take over and give them a good mix or a good master for, for the CD so so then everything's pretty much done but I have to polish it and make it like nice and big sounding and that's another interesting part I think I think my favorite part of the whole process is the mixing because I'm by myself in my own world and I, I, I just I get into it and like I'll, I'll smoke a whole joint and just start <laughs> pulling up fader and things and you place it and, and I, I really enjoyed that part and also the creative side I like when a band would come to me and like they're halfway through the, the songwriting and then I get give my input to the songs and I feel it's nice to contribute to somebody else's art and make it come to life and yeah I, I'm I, that's what I like to do I mean, I feel blessed that I get to to play record and work with music 
in my life and I, I just eat it that's pretty much it like that's that's my life and I I really enjoy it what were, would you have aspiring words for or words for aspiring musicians starting up what would you say to them short couple sentences I'd say like the the, the, the thing that I want to say to the, the, the young new bands is just be yourself don't try to copy anybody thinking you're gonna make it it's it, most of the times it doesn't work that way it's just if you if you get if you you're yourself you came up with your own sound your own songs and and you sound the way you want to sound regardless of the fashion or what's hot out there I think that's that's how it usually happens and and it, yes there's a bit of luck in the process because you your music got to be heard by the right people you got to meet the right people to push it and take your hand and bring you to the next level but I don't see it happen if you're a copycat if you're really original and you do your own thing there's much much more chances that you get further in the industry and just have fun that, that's the most important thing I always told my guys whenever it's not fun anymore I just I'm gonna quit I'll do something else because life's too short do your passion all right this has been the age of metal talking with JF of cataclysm and we thank you very much and we're looking forward to the show Thank you very much.